The ladybug, also known as ladybird or lady beetle, belongs to a family within the order Coleoptera, which is part of the class Insecta. The binomial nomenclature for this family is Coxinellidae, coined by Pierre André Latreille in 1807. Ladybugs encompass over 6,000 different species that have been described, and they are distributed widely across the globe, particularly abundant in tropical regions. The term coccinellidae has its origin in the Latin word coccineus, meaning bright red. The suffix ladies, commonly used in taxonomy, denotes the family level. Ladybugs exhibit distinctive morphology, resembling a miniature turtle with a hemispherical shape, measuring only about 5 to 6 millimeters in diameter, displaying typical characteristics of beetles in the insect class. Figure 1. Ladybugs often boast vivid and conspicuous colors such as red, hence the name coxinia, orange, or yellow with spotted patterns on the dorsal surface of their wings. Ladybugs belong to a diverse group of insects with varied diets. In this regard, they are classified into two groups, predatory ladybugs and herbivorous ladybugs. Herbivorous ladybugs are known to be significant crop pests in Vietnam. However, predatory ladybugs are considered friends of farmers because their diet consists of insect pests, including aphids, aphidies, and scale insects. Both the larva, the immature stage, and adults of predatory ladybugs exclusively feed on insects, making them effective natural predators. An adult ladybug can consume over 100 aphids per day. Therefore, large-scale cultivation of ladybugs from this group has been implemented to efficiently control crop pests without causing environmental pollution, ensuring clean produce and large-scale cultivation of citrus fruits and other crops. Mantises, or praying mantises, are fascinating insects known for their distinctive appearance and predatory behavior. There are numerous species of mantises, and while their characteristics can vary, I'll provide a general overview of mantises, including their food, behavior, and special characteristics. Food, carnivorous diet. Mantises are carnivorous insects with a diet primarily consisting of other insects. They are skilled hunters and are known for their patience and stealth when stalking, prey, ambush predators. Mantises are ambush predators. They often wait motionless for their prey, relying on their excellent camouflage to blend into their surroundings. When an unsuspecting insect comes within striking distance, the mantis uses its specialized forelimbs to capture and consume the prey. Behavior, predatory tactics. Mantises use their powerful and spiky forelimbs to grasp and immobilize their prey. They are known for their lightning-fast strike, which are difficult for their prey to escape. Camouflage. Many mantis species have evolved to mimic their surroundings, adopting colors and shapes that make them blend seamlessly into plants. This camouflage helps them both in hunting and avoiding predators. Special characteristics. Triangular head. Mantises have a distinct triangular-shaped head with large compound eyes. This head structure allows for excellent vision, crucial for locating and stopping prey. Flexible neck. Mantises are known for their ability to rotate their heads nearly 180 degrees, giving them an extensive field of vision without having to move their bodies. Molting. Like other insects, Mantises undergo molting, shedding their exoskeletons as they grow. This process allows them to grow larger and is repeated several times throughout their life. Reproduction, sexual cannibalism. In some mantis species, particularly the well-known praying mantis, sexual cannibalism may occur, where the female consumes the male after or even during mating. This behavior is not universal among all mantis species, but is a notable characteristic in some variety of species, different sizes and colors. Mantises come in various sizes and colors, ranging from small and green to larger species with different colorations. The diversity among mantis species is extensive. Remember that specific behaviors and characteristics can vary among mantis species, and not all mantises exhibit the same traits. Observing mantises in their natural habitat.
Dragonflies are fascinating insects with a long evolutionary history. They belong to the order Odonata, which also includes damselflies. Here's an introduction to dragonflies, including information about their food, behavior, and special characteristics. Food, carnivorous diet. Dragonflies are predatory insects with a diet primarily composed of other insects. They are skilled aerial hunters and are known for their agility and speed in flight. Mosquito control. Dragonflies are beneficial to humans as they help control mosquito populations. They are voracious predators and can consume large numbers of mosquitoes and other flying insects, contributing to natural pest control behavior. Aerial predators. Dragonflies are adept flyers and are known for their acrobatic aerial maneuvers. They often catch prey in the air, using their specialized legs to form a basket to trap and secure their cats. Territorial behavior. Male dragonflies are often territorial and defend their chosen territory from other males. They may engage in aerial battles to establish dominance and secure mating. Sites. Special characteristics. Large eyes. Dragonflies have large, compound eyes that provide them with excellent vision, allowing them to detect movement and locate prey with precision. Two pairs of wings. Dragonflies have two pairs of wings that they can move independently, giving them remarkable control over their flight. Their wingspan can vary among species, with some dragonflies having wingspans of several inches. Colorful pattern. Many dragonfly species exhibit vibrant and striking color patterns on their wings and bodies. These colors can serve various purposes, including mate attraction and species identification, life cycle, aquatic limb stage. Dragonflies undergo incomplete metamorphosis, with their life cycle consisting of three stages, eggs, limbs, and adults. The mint stage is spent in aquatic environments, where dragonfly larvae are formidable predators in freshwater habitats. Emergence. When the nymph is ready to transform into an adult, it climbs out of the water onto a plant or other substrate. The adult dragonfly emerges from the nymphal exoskeleton, and its wings expand and harden. Migration. Seasonal movement. Some dragonfly species are known for their migratory behavior. They may travel significant distances in search of suitable breeding and feeding grounds. Monarch dragonflies, for example, are known for their long-distance migration. Dragonflies play a crucial role in maintaining ecological balance by controlling insects, populations, and they are valued for their beauty and unique behavior. Observing dragonflies in their natural habitats can be a rewarding experience for nature. Enthusiasts Caterpillars are the larval stage of butterflies and moths, belonging to the order Lepidoptera. Here's an introduction to caterpillars, including information about their food, behavior, and special characteristics. Food, herbivorous diet. Caterpillars are herbivores, and their primary diet consists of plant matter. Different species of caterpillars may have specific host plants they prefer, and their feeding habits can vary. Specialized mouthparts. Caterpillars have skin mouthparts that allow them to consume leaves, stems, and other parts of plants. Some caterpillars are highly selective in their choice of host plants. Behavior, feeding patterns. Caterpillars are voracious eaters, and their main activity is feeding to support their rapid growth during the larval stage. They often have a distinctive pattern of feeding, creating characteristic holes or skeletonizing leaves. Molting. As caterpillars grow, they undergo molting, setting their exoskeleton to accommodate their increasing size. They molt several times during their larval development. Anti-predator adaptation. Many caterpillars have developed various defense mechanisms against predators. Some are equipped with spines, hair, or even toxic chemicals that can deter or harm potential threats. Special characteristics. Segmented bodies. Caterpillars have segmented bodies with three pairs of two legs on the thorax and several pairs of prolegs on the abdomen. Prolegs are fleshy structures equipped with tiny hooks that help the caterpillar grip surfaces.
colorful and camouflaged. Caterpillars come in a wide range of colors and patterns. Some species are brightly colored to signal toxicity or inedibility, while others mimic their surroundings for camouflage, making them harder for predators to spot. Metamorphosis One of the most remarkable characteristics of caterpillars is their ability to undergo metamorphosis. After the larval stage, caterpillars form a pupa, chrysalis in butterflies, and undergo a complete transformation into an adult butterfly or moth. Life cycle, egg stage. Caterpillars begin their life cycle as eggs laid by adult butterflies or moths on or near suitable host plants. Caterpillar stage. The larval stage, or caterpillar stage, is when most of their feeding and growth occur. This stage lasts from a few days to several weeks, depending on the species. Pupa stage. Caterpillars enter the pupa stage, during which they undergo metamorphosis. They wrap themselves in a protective cocoon or chrysalis. Adult stage. The final stage is the emergence of the adult butterfly or moth from the pupa. This stage is focused on reproduction, and the adult may have different feeding habits than the caterpillar. Caterpillars are essential components of ecosystems, contributing to the pollination of plants and serving as a critical link in the food web. They also play a crucial role in the life cycle of butterflies and moths contributing to the overall biodiversity of their habitat. Butterflies are insects belonging to the order Lepidoptera and are known for their vibrant, colors, delicate wings, and fascinating life cycles. Here's an introduction to butterflies, including information about their food, behavior, and special characteristics. Food, liquid diet. Adult butterflies primarily feed on nectar from flowers. They use their long, tube-like proboscis to extract nectar from the flower's blossom. The proboscis remains coiled when not in use. Puddling. Some butterflies also engage in puddling, where they extract minerals and nutrients from damp soil, mud puddles, or other organic matter. This behavior is particularly common in males. Behavior. Flight pattern. Butterflies are known for their graceful and erratic flight pattern. They can hover in place, glide, and fly rapidly. The movement of their wings is controlled by powerful muscles in their thorax. Mating rituals. Butterflies engage in elaborate mating rituals, including courtship flights and the exchange of chemical signals. Male butterflies may display visual cues, such as bright colors or aerial displays. To attract females, migration, some butterfly species are known for their impressive migratory journeys. Monarch butterflies, for example, migrate thousands of miles between their breeding grounds in North America and overwintering. Sites in Mexico, special characteristics, scale-covered wings. Butterflies have wings covered in tiny scales, which are pigmented and contribute to their vibrant colors. The scales also provide insulation and aid in the butterfly's ability to regulate body temperature. Metamorphosis. Butterflies undergo complete metamorphosis, with a life cycle consisting of four stages, egg, larva, caterpillar, pupa, chrysalis, and adult. This transformation allows them to exploit different ecological niches at various life stages, antennae. Butterflies have two antennae on their heads, which are often club-shaped. These antennae play a crucial role in sensing the environment, detecting pheromones, and aiding in navigation. Life cycle, egg stage. Female butterflies lay eggs on host plants. The eggs are often laid on or near specific plant species that will serve as food for them. Emerging caterpillars. Caterpillar stage. The larval stage is characterized by the caterpillar, a feeding and growing stage. Caterpillars have chewing mouthparts and consume plant material to fuel their rapid growth. Pupa stage. The caterpillar forms a pupa or chrysalis, where it undergoes metamorphosis. Inside the pupa, the tissues reorganize and the adult structures develop. Adult stage. The adult butterfly emerges from the pupa, and its wings expand and harden. 
The primary focus of the adult stage is reproduction, and it marks the final stage of the butterfly's life cycle. Butterflies are not only aesthetically pleasing, but also play essential roles in ecosystems as pollinators and contributors to biodiversity. They are indicators of environmental health and are crucial in the pollination of flowering plants. Locusts are a type of grasshopper that can undergo a behavioral transformation known as warming when their populations become dense. Here's an introduction to locusts, including information about their food, behavior, and special characteristics. Food, herbivorous diet. Locusts are herbivorous insects, primarily feeding on plants and crops. They consume a wide variety of vegetation, including grasses, crops, and leaves from trees. Destructive feeding. In swarming phases, locusts can be highly destructive to crops, posing a significant threat to agriculture. A large swarm of locusts can devour vast areas of vegetation, leading to severe food shortages and economic losses. Behavior. Solitary phase. Locusts typically exhibit a solitary phase when their populations are scattered, and they behave similarly to regular grasshoppers. In this phase, they avoid each other and do not form large groups. Warming phase, when environmental conditions are favorable, such as increased rainfall leading to abundant vegetation, locust populations can explode. This triggers a behavioral switch to the gregarious or swarming phase, where locusts gather in large groups and form massive swarms that can travel long distances in search of food, long distance migration. Swarming locusts are capable of long-distance migration, covering hundreds or even thousands of kilometers. They can fly in coordinated patterns and exploit wind currents to travel significant distances. Special characteristics, morphological changes. In the swarming phase, locusts undergo significant morphological changes. They develop longer wings, more robust bodies, and a change in coloration, often becoming darker and more vivid. High reproductive rates. Locusts have high reproductive rates, and their population dynamics are influenced by environmental factors such as rainfall. Favorable conditions can lead to rapid population growth, triggering swarming behavior. Chemical signaling. Locusts use chemical signals, such as pheromones, to communicate and coordinate their behaviors within a swarm. These chemical signals play a crucial role in the aggregation and synchronization of locusts. Economic impact. Crop destruction. Locust swarms can cause widespread devastation to crops, leading to food shortages and economic hardships for communities that rely on agriculture. Control measures. Controlling locust outbreaks is challenging, and various methods, including the use of pesticides and biopesticides, are employed to mitigate the impact of swarms on agriculture. Locusts play a significant role in the ecosystems they inhabit, but their swarming behavior, especially during population outbreaks, can have severe consequences for agriculture and food security. Efforts are ongoing to monitor and manage locust populations to minimize the impact on crops and livelihoods. Ants are social insects that belong to the order Hymenoptera and the family Formicidae. They are known for their highly organized and cooperative colonies. Here's an introduction to ants, including information about their food, behavior, and special characteristics. Food, diet diversity. Ants are omnivores and have a diverse diet that includes nectar, honeydew produced by aphids, other insects, and even small vertebrates. Some ant species are known to be herbivores, feeding on seeds, fungi, or plant sap. Foraging. Ant colonies exhibit organized foraging behavior. Worker ants leave the nest in search of food, and once a source is found, they communicate its location to other colony members using chemical trails. Behavior. Social structure. Ants are highly social insects that live in colonies. Each colony typically consists of a queen, male ant, and worker ant. 
Workers perform various tasks such as foraging, caring for the young, and defending the colony. Division of labor. Ant colonies exhibit a clear division of labor among the worker ants. Different tasks of workers specialize in specific tasks, such as foraging, nursing the brood, or defending the colony. Communication. Ants communicate through pheromones, which are chemical signals. They use pheromones to mark trails to food sources, alert colony members to danger, and coordinate various activities within the colony. Special characteristics. Antennae. Ants have elbowed antennae that are highly sensitive to touch and chemical cues. Antennae play a crucial role in communication and navigation. Mandibles. Ants have powerful mandibles that vary in shape and size among species. They use their mandibles for tasks such as carrying food, excavating nests, and defending the colony. Metamorphosis. Ants undergo complete metamorphosis, including four life stages, eggs, larva, pupa, and adult. The queen lays eggs, and the developing larva go through various stages before emerging as adult ants. Nesting behavior. Varied nesting habits. Ants build nests in a variety of locations, including underground, in trees, or within structures. The nest structure can vary from simple chambers to complex networks of tunnels and chambers. Queen's role. The queen is responsible for laying eggs and maintaining the colony's population. In some species, there are multiple queens in a colony, while in others, a single queen dominates. Ecological role. Ecosystem engineer. Ants play a vital role as ecosystem engineers. They aerate soil, disperse seeds, and contribute to nutrient cycling. Some ant species form mutualistic relationships with plants, providing protection in exchange for food or shelter. Ants are highly adaptable and can be found in nearly every terrestrial habitat. Their complex social structures, communication methods, and diverse behaviors make them a fascinating group of insects with significant ecological importance. These are flying insects known for their crucial role in pollination and honey production. They belong to the order Hymenoptera and the superfamily Acoidea. Here's an introduction to bees, including information about their food, behavior, and special characteristics. Food, nectar and pollen. Bees primarily feed on nectar, a sugary liquid produced by flowers. They use their proboscis, a long tube-like tongue, to extract nectar from flowers. Additionally, bees collect pollen, a protein-rich substance, which serves as a food source for developing larvae. Behavior. Pollination. Bees play a vital role in pollination, transferring pollen from the male parts, anthers, to the female parts, stigma of flowers. This process is crucial for the reproduction of flowering plants and the production of fruits and seeds. Social structure. Many bee species are social insects, living in colonies with a structured social hierarchy. A colony typically consists of a queen, worker bees, and drones. Worker bees perform various tasks, such as foraging, nursing the brood, and building and maintaining the hive. Dancing communication. Honeybees, in particular, use a sophisticated form of communication known as the waggle dance to convey information about the location of food sources to other members of the colony. Special characteristics. Hairy bodies. Bees have hairy bodies that aid in the collection and transport of pollen. The hairs on their bodies create an electrostatic charge that attracts pollen, allowing them to carry it back to the hive. Compound eyes. Bees have large compound eyes that provide them with excellent vision. They can see ultraviolet light, which is invisible to humans, and use this ability for navigation and locating flowers. Stinger. Female worker bees and queens have a stinger, which they use for defense. When a bee stings, it releases venom that can cause pain and, in some cases, allergic reactions in humans. Hive construction. Wax production. Honeybees, in particular, produce wax from special glands on their abdomen. They use this wax to construct intricate hexagonal cells in the hive, known as honeycombs. 
These cells serve as storage for honey and pollen and as chambers for developing brood. The architecture. The construction of a hive involves precise architecture and temperature. Regulation. Bees fan their wings to regulate hive temperature and use propolis, a resinous substance, to seal gaps and protect the hive from invaders. Life cycle. Eggs, larvae, pupa. The bee life cycle consists of eggs, larvae, and pupa stages. The queen lays eggs in the cells of the honeycomb. Larva hatch from the eggs, feed on royal jelly or a mix of honey and pollen, and eventually pupate. Worker and drone bees. Female worker bees and drones, male bees, emerge from pupae. Worker bees are responsible for various tasks within the hive, while drones have the primary role of mating with a queen. Queen bee. The queen bee is the only fertile female in the colony and is responsible for laying eggs. The colony can replace an old queen with a new one if necessary. Bees are essential pollinators that contribute significantly to biodiversity and agriculture. Their complex behaviors, social structures, and specialized adaptations make them a fascinating and ecologically vital group of insects.